Hey peeps, Gamer Drake here. Welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we managed to get some sort of production up in the copper. And I was going to run an experiment over the period of time that we were apart. I was going to see how the power plants worked uh, offline. However, just seconds before I disconnected from the server, uh, I heard that fateful noise of all the power running out. Uh, and so that's where we are at the moment. We are back in a situation where we have no power and uh, no hope. Okay, that's not quite true. We have plenty of hope. But what I want to do today, first of all, is try and sort out this power situation because we're in a bit of a mess, to be honest. We've got uh, biomass burners everywhere. I'm just going to grab some concrete. We're going to need concrete. Uh, we've got biomass burners everywhere. We've got all sorts of chaos going on. So I'm going to build a brand new temporary power plant here. And that will keep us going for a short period of time. This again is only going to be temporary because as soon as we've got automated power such as coal, uh, this is all going to go. So what we're going to need is a shopping list. And for this shopping list, we're going to build 10 biomass burners. So that is what we're going to need to do it. We've got most of that already. Um, hopefully we'll have some copper uh, from our uh, copper mine. Um, we're going to need that. We're going to need a couple of storage. Uh, we're going to need three storage. You'll see why. And we're going to need some... We're going to need a merger. Yes. I'm probably going to need more than one merger, actually. But we'll see how we go. Let's go to our copper outpost and see if we have the required resources. Now we could build the power plant up here but I don't want to do that because I don't want to run over here every time it needs more power and unfortunately as far as I am aware the biomass burners can't be automatically fed you've got to feed them manually. So while we're still at that level then that's what we're going to have to do and so I'm going to keep it close by and that's cable this should be oh look at that we have enough fantastic okay and I will also grab cable because we're almost certainly going to need to do some wiring and that should give us everything we need to get this going apart from fuel so I'm gonna to have to run around like a lunatic and get some fuel afterwards but this should hopefully, I'm hoping 10 biomass burners is all we're going to need. Okay, we'll have iron plate, that's for sure. Somewhere over here. Amongst all this chaos. Yep, plenty of iron plate. In fact, we'll take two of those because we'll probably need some for conveyor belts. And finally, we'll dismantle the biomass burners that we currently have. Because we don't need them there. Okay. So we're going to build this out here. It's temporary. But where are we going to put it? I think in this gap here would be fine. So let's start with some concrete foundations. Again, we'll go with the two meter ones. And we will put it, let's just build the one there for a second. Oop. Ah, built two. Didn't want two, wanted one. Uh, we can then build out, uh, let's have a think. Well, let's build out more than we need because we can always put it back. Uh, and I seem to have gone back to the default building mode. 
Let's try that again. Zoop. Wonderful. And we'll go out three this way. I think that's probably enough. And we will zoop out there. And zoop out there. The zooping only allows you to zoop out ten. But that's that's more than enough for what we need. We're going to have a rock in the way. That doesn't matter. I don't think we're going to get that far. Okay. So how is this area going to work? Well, it's going to start with a couple of storage containers. And in those storage containers, I'm going to be feeding leaves and... Um, well, no, there's no um, there's just leaves. Leaves. Oh no, that's, that's right, leaves and wood. Uh, let's see if we can get that centered on there. Yeah. And I want to put three of these down, like so. Perfect. Why does that one think? it's off the ground not on concrete these legs if you put it on e uneven ground these legs automatically extend but they're not on these two because they know they're on concrete this one for some reason doesn't realize it's on concrete let's try and build that again see if it does the same thing again Nope, it's figured out it's on concrete. I wonder if that's a server thing. Okay, so we've got those. In one of them, we're going to put leaves. In the other, we're going to put wood. Of course, the other thing we're going to need is uh, constructors. So, um, we need three of those. So we need six reinforced plates. Let's just go and grab those quickly. It's not too far away. And what we're going to do is make an automatic biomass creator. In fact, we can take this down, which gives us just three, by, uh, three iron plates we need, reinforced iron plates we need. Hmm. And once again, we've got these exclamation marks which seem to indicate or at least the game thinks we haven't interacted with, with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have used that once or twice. Maybe wrong. Who knows? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put out in front of here one constructor. Like so. And a second constructor there. And those can be fed from the two bins. Okay. This first constructor is going to make biomass out of uh, wood. This second one is going to make it out of leaves. So we need to be aware that we put leaves in here. Now we've got no way of putting signs or notes on here yet. Uh, that is possible in the future, but we haven't got anything yet. Do we have any leaves? We don't have any leaves. I'm just going to go and grab a leaf and you'll see why. We need to uh, get our chainsaw. And we're not going to be able to actually put our leaves anywhere because we haven't got any room. Let's just throw away some iron ore. Okay. That should give me some leaves, hopefully. Really? No leaves? No, we've got leaves. And wood. Yes, we've got leaves and wood. Right, okay. Uh, I want to get rid of that, please. I'm hoping that this might work. I'm hoping I can take uh, 
not ten leaves, I want one leaf. Split. I'm hoping I can drop that on the ground. Uh huh. Where did that go? Can I not drop leaves on the ground? Let me go and try a little bit over here so we're on solid ground completely. I'll try that again. Uh, leaves split one and drop. We can drop them on the ground. So where did they go over here? Let's try that again then. There we go. Okay, so we have leaves on the ground. And over here, I'm going to do the same, but with the wood. And so that's just going to be our visual cue. Excellent. Visual cue of which goes in where. So our leaves are going to go into there. Our wood will go into there. And let's double check. This is the biomass production uh, got it the wrong way around okay so this one's the wood one and this one's the leaves one okay so that's good so those two are going to create biomass for us and then we're going to need to take the biomass and convert it into biofuel and so we're going to put our third constructor there. We're going to put a merger here like that and we will make this one slightly neater. We'll do proper 90 degree return. Okay so that's going to go into there that's going to go into there and this one is going to go into there. That's not quite a 90 degree turn. Let's try that again. Come out to here. Hmm. Don't snap onto there. Okay, we'll do this a different way. We'll go back to and then into there. That should do it. Okay, and this is going to take our biomass and convert it into biofuel and then take the biofuel and put it into this storage container which is the wrong way around. So we just need to put that back but facing the other direction. Okay, that is our automated setup done. Now these are going to need power of course and we will power that from back here and we will stick a power pole right there and some cabling. This power pole will cope with all three of these fine and we'll have a fourth connection which the power will come into. Right, so that's our biomass being generated. Now what we need to do is fuel it with some energy and for that we're going to need our biomass burners and we're going to be putting down, let's see which way we're going to put these, we're going to put down ten of these along each side. So, one, two, three. I lied when I said ten along each side. We're going to be putting five along each side. Five. And along this way, one, two, three. 
four, five. Excellent. Okay. And that's it. Now what we need to do is connect all these up. So uh, we're going to be putting some power poles. Well, let's do let's do two. I think that will work. Two and three. Let's check this theory. So that connects to the power pole, that connects to the power pole, that connects to the power pole. That one connects to that and that. And then that connects to that. Okay. And then this one needs to connect to, we'll have to put another central one here. And this is going to be our main output pole. Okay, so let's build our power poles back up here. And connect these up. One, two, three. One, two. Connect the two power poles together. Excellent. And to our output, not that one. We were close, but no cigar to this one here. Okay, and then this one here can connect to that one to power that. And it's also going to have to come off over here. And this is going to be our distribution network that will power all our stuff. So we need to come over here and find a place to connect it in. That will do there. Okay. That is our power sorted, but we're going to need some biomass to get this started. So I'm going to go and run around and get some leaves and wood. But before I do, I'm just going to dump a load of stuff off over here uh, to clear some inventory space. So uh, I'm going to get rid of the ores. We don't really need ores clogging up our inventory anymore. Uh, we will keep those, we will keep food, we will keep biomass and okay that'll give us room. Let's sort that. Uh, we don't need to carry flowers around either. Okay let's load up our chainsaw and wait. We've got a bit of biomass. Let's just see if we can make any more. We can't make any more. Okay, so that one bit of biomass will have to do us for a minute. And I'll get as much as I can. Make a bit more biomass fuel manually in a second. I've run out of fuel already. So I'll go and make some more biomass fuel and then run around and get a load of stuff to stick into our two, two production containers. Uh, what am I doing? Biomass fuel. Yeah. Okay. That's more than enough for our chainsaw. Excellent. Okay, I'll be back in a minute once I've found a suitable forest area, probably over here, to go and chop down. Those trees up there don't look like they need to be there. We'll go get rid of them. See you in a minute. Yeah, new wildlife. Sorry, birdie, we're destroying your habitat. Mm. Okay, folks, well, I have done that we have used up all of those eight biofuel things collecting wood I don't know how much we've gathered 
but I am going to have to make a few more manually just to prime the system and get it running. So let's just do that. Oh, let's see, we've got a lot of stuff. And if we just make, well, let's make 20 biofuel and we could put two in each. It's going to take a few seconds. Need a couple more. Okay, that'll do. And then we can automate the rest. And it's getting dark. Okay. So, in theory, we can put our leaves into here. Uh, like that. And that's control click. We'll put everything of the same into uh, into the, into there. Okay. We already have a few bits of biomass, so we can put that into there. Excellent. And uh, I guess we only need to turn on. Um, we only need to really turn on five of these at the moment. Don't even need that. Let's turn on four because that's that's as much as we had previously. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and start. That should get everything running and be significantly more than we had before, actually. And then as we run into power problems later on, we can just start adding more into it. Now those few bits of biomass aren't going to last long, but hopefully by the time by the time they're um, expanded, we will see this is all working. We will have plenty of yeah, this is all good. How much is this producing? Three hundred a minute. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Uh, these conveyor belts won't be able to cope with anything like that. But it'll do. It'll do for now. It's our initial setup and we're creating biomass. Um, just to tidy up down here then, we can take away this last, this last bit of uh, stuff that we don't need. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Now, these things are super dangerous. And I really haven't, I really didn't want to be facing these just yet. Where's he gone? Yeah, they spit fire at you. And this really isn't a powerful enough weapon. There we are, we've got it. To deal with that. Whoa. Why'd you look blurred? You've stopped moving. I'm going to say server issue. Okay. That's not great. Do we have any nuts? No. We do back at the base though. Go get some nuts and we'll just leave it now to build up some resources. I think that that's a good time. Uh, we haven't got any fuel left in these. Oh, we have in one. I'll take it out. Don't intend to use those anymore. They're not really going to be counted as part of our network. Uh, okay, and um, we're out of fuel. Fabulous. Let's have some nuts. Wow, he did some serious damage. We're going to use all our food sorting that out. Okay. So we've just used 20 biofuel to create 80 biofuel. Okay, so that's not too bad. And what we can do now is the same thing again. We can now put, split these into 20 and it'll last twice as long. 
In fact, no, we only put five in each before, so it's going to last a lot longer. One, two, three, and then by the time this lot's done, uh, we'll be well stocked up. Okay. I think we've still got plenty of fuel going in here. Mm, maybe not. There's plenty of those going through. Okay, so that will allow us to, to do that. Now, we've sorted our power out for a while. Let's go and see what we can do in terms of upgrades. And choose what we're going to do next. Well, field research will be useful because that will allow us to uh, progress a lot further. Plus, we're going to get another hand slot. And that will be really useful because I was almost killed when I was collecting stuff before because of the chainsaw in the hand and uh, was attacked. Um, and it would be better if I could switch. So field research is where we're going to go. We have pretty much everything we need. We just need to go and get a few more cable, which I'm pretty sure will be built by now. So I shall just run over there, grab some nuts, and soon we'll be able to find faster ways of traversing the map. But for now, it's running. And in fact, next time I get the chainsaw out, I'm going to get rid of the trees around this area so we can see what's going on a bit clearer. Here. Up, go, there we go. Oh dear. So, hopefully we have cable. Oh, very close. Very close. Look at that. Uh, I'll have to leave cable to produce itself for a while. But now we've got our power sorted out, we could actually go back and upgrade that copper area. To, uh, to increase its efficiency, because it's not efficient at the moment, by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, and jump. And we'll get rid of some of this spaghetti mess as well at some point. Okay, so what are we doing? Into there. Oh, we are still short 50. Hmm. All right, well, I'll let it go, and then uh, we will we will do that. Be back in a minute. Okay. By the time I'd run over there, it had created another 56 for us, which is enough for our field research. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Okay, so the most exciting thing there is we've now got two slots for our hands, uh, which we can use our mouse scroll wheel to change between. That's useful. Um, got a few more inventory slots and we have the MAM which we can now build. We just need, uh, we need more cable, more wire and reinforced plate. Okay well we'll just manually make the reinforced plate yet because we've not automated that one yet. And oh, we need screws that's why. So we'll just grab four of those and I will run over again to the copper area and grab some wire. All right, folks, well, our pod is returning, which is wonderful. And our power has just gone down, which is less wonderful. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete.
let's see how much I've got loads now okay so um, it's gonna double each time really let's put in more fuel let's put 50 50 50 and 50 and set that off again and we'll just pop the rest into there for now okay and go and build this man because this uh, if I put the man out here why not this is going to allow us to start all sorts of wonderful research which will start making things far more uh, interesting so the first thing we need to do is research these two well we have we have those I believe do we have enough uh, let's take those and go and pop them in the research we can also go back now and get that quartz that we found one of the other episodes that's only going to take three seconds and now we can New recipe unlocked we can now turn those into biomass okay new research available in the MAM Same with both of those. We can do that research as well. And now we can know how to build, or we can discover how to build inhalers, which will fix our health. Uh, for that, though, we're going to need more stuff and fungus. Uh, and we can also increase our slots. But again, we haven't got enough for that. Nutrients. Uh, we can research this lot as well. We've got we've got these on us. Excellent. We've got some nuts. Oh, we probably haven't actually I've eaten all the nuts. Added to the object scanner. But we can do that at some point. Um, and then there's other stuff as well that we can research, but we don't know, we haven't discovered it yet. I'm pretty sure though that quartz is one of the lines that we can research and if we run back over here we've got some quartz knocking around and I'm going to grab that now and in fact from this point on whenever we see a new material we're going to grab it and utilize it well we can probably get some fungus yes we can except we haven't got any uh, fuel but are there any of the little mushrooms down here i don't want to spend too long down here because there's horrible spiders yeah i can't see any so i'm getting out of here for now but we'll keep an eye out for mushrooms and we'll gather some of those as we go along there's some nuts where was this caught? There it is. Let's grab that. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Fabulous. So let's go and uh, pop that in. And then we'll do a little bit more upgrading and call it an episode. Okay. But it's going to be important. This research is going to be important. Uh, we can research the nuts. Okay. And then we just need to find some of these and that will unlock whatever this is. Quartz is now available to us to research. And that will help. 
We need New to resource added to the resource scanner. Okay. Uh, fungus like vegetation. Well, we can get some fungus. It's a good start. It's a good start. Right. What's next? Let's have a look. Uh, that was field research. What else did that give us? Oh, storage boxes. We can now create storage boxes. That's useful. And the object scanner. Well, uh, we have... Yes, we moved our... Um, what's it called? Production equipment workshop. Let's see if we can fit this close by for now. And yeah, we can now create an object scanner which is made of reinforced iron, beacons and screws. In fact, three beacons. We can make one of those. There's three beacons. We just need four reinforced plate and 50 screws. Oop. Uh, well, reinforced plate we can create quickly enough here. And we're going to have to get round to automating the reinforced plate soon. But we'll create that manually for now. And then create 50 screws and that will give us our scanner which will allow us to find stuff. Okay. Including those power slugs. There we go. We have one. Let's put that in our hand. And we can choose what we want to research. So at the moment we can look for nuts or berries. And this is saying that we've got some nuts nearby. Yeah, okay. This direction. Except there's no nuts because we've eaten them. All right, but that works, and that that will allow us to locate objects later on. Hello, I'm stuck. Move. Thank you. Okay, next bit of research. Then let's see. Um, resource sync program, I think, or the logistics. The logistics is going to be next because that is going to enable us to uh, create uh, we're gonna know because I want to automate reinforced stuff uh, reinforced plates and for that we need the assembler so this is going to be next we've got all of this stuff here I've just got to go and run and get the cable and we can do that so one moment Okay, so I've got all that, got the final bits that we need, screws and the plates, and the part assembly. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Okay, so what does it take to make an assembler? Oh, we need rotors. Okay, how do we make rotors? Rods and screws. So we're going to have to we're going to have to make some by hand first of all. Okay, so we're going to have to make an assembler. 
using our ingenuity and hands. So we're going to need iron plates. I'll just grab this together. And we're going to need rotors, which are down here. We need, I think it was four of them. Two, three, four. Excellent. Um, for now, this is going to have to be separate. We're just going to plonk one here. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, not enough reinforced plate. One moment. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to put one here. Fabulous. We can connect it up to the power supply here. Uh, hello. Thank you. And now we should be able to make reinforced plates automatically. All we need to do is pump into here screws and iron plates. So let's make a container on the outside like that. And this is a very sort of messy start, but we can take screws and plump them in there. We can take our iron plates and plonk them in there. And this should now make us a load of reinforced iron plate. Let's check it out. Hopefully something will come through. I oh, was just waiting for six plate to come in. There we go. It can start the building process. And hopefully we will see reinforced plate coming out. Excellent. So it's going to be slow for now, but if we leave that running, we will produce a number of those. Great. Now, the other thing we need for our next milestone, which I've not yet selected, uh, I'm still waiting for the pod to come back. I think this is the next one we want to do. No, this one, that's right. So we're going to wait. We're going to get 50. We'll select this as a milestone. We will wait for us to get 50 reinforced iron plates. And by the next episode, we will have those, no doubt. How many have we got already? Five. Okay, so we're, we're a tenth of the way there. Fuel-wise, we've got 12 left in there. So what I'm going to do is haul it a day. Oh, we've got quite a bit of fuel there. Uh, I'm going to take some fuel and go and chop some more trees down and load this up. Uh, make sure our biomass burners are as full as they can be. And um, leave it run for a little bit. So, I think that is that. Look at that. So if you found this interesting, please do leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out. I uh, appreciate your time spending with me. And until next time on Satisfactory, we'll see you soon. You take care now. Bye now.